we have a great time at the Crawfish Shack. I uh, really appreciate those folks very much, but of course I love the crawfish too. So I ate my fill of crawfish and this is what I had left over. Nice little mess there. Beautiful crawfish, as you can see. Picked them all out, ready to go. So what we're gonna do is make a crawfish etouffee. Um, you've heard that song, it's all about that base. Well, in this case, the song is, it's all about that roux. The roux is the key. You gotta baby that roux, okay? Um, what I've done is I've gone ahead and gotten everything ready to go, because once I start this process, I wanna stick with that roux, I don't wanna burn it, I wanna get it a nice golden brown. And that's a constant stirring process, and, and we'll show you a little bit more about that. But let's look at the ingredients that we're gonna use today. Lots of great vegetables, onions, and I've used uh, three different kinds of bell peppers in here. A lot of garlic. This on the top, that's a lot of pods of garlic right there. We've also used some green onion, but we've separated the whites from the tops because the whites are gonna go in the same time that our, the rest of our onions go in and bell peppers. And then we're gonna add the tops and some fresh parsley a little bit later in the cooking process, okay? Three sticks of butter. We're gonna start with three sticks of butter and a cup of flour. We're gonna melt this butter and put this flour, and this is the base for the roux, okay? And we're gonna babysit this until we get it to the color that we want. We're gonna add a little bit of fresh lemon, and then the seasonings, of course, are salt and pepper, cayenne pepper, red pepper flakes, a little bit of ground cumin, and a little bit of whatever your favorite Creole seasoning may be. Once we get the roux to the color that we want, we're gonna cook our vegetables in there, We'll start adding and layering. It's important that we just don't dump everything into the pot. We're gonna layer that and let those flavors come together really well. And then we're gonna add water at the end because we want it to be the right consistency. We'll make a good batch of rice. And then at the very end, we'll add the crawfish. The crawfish is already cooked. So we're just adding this in at the very end to let it heat through. Something else I got while I was at the crawfish shack, of course, was some potatoes and I had some left over. On that counter back there, we're making some potato salad with what was left over. We've already put in here some green onions, some, uh, some pickles, some celery leaves is in there. We'll salt and pepper this and add our eggs and our mayonnaise. And that's gonna go with our crawfish etouffee. And of course, you can't have crawfish etouffee without a good French bread. So that's what we'll have with it as well. So I'm gonna get started melting the butter. And once we get that melted, we're gonna add that flour. And we're gonna show you a little bit more about babysitting that roux. Remember, it's all about the root. Okay, we've got the butters melted. This is three sticks of butter and a cup of plain flour. So now it's just a matter of babysitting it to get it to the golden color that we're wanting for it to uh, get to. I attended a cooking seminar down at New Orleans and this very colorful Cajun lady taught this little seminar and uh, she was making a roux and was talking and telling stories and it was something that was really enjoyable But uh, she talked about the types of roux. You can have a blonde and you can have a light brown and you can have a golden brown And then you can have a very very dark roux She was in favor of a darker roux and of course we got to sample her cooking uh, After she got it all put together and of course it was delicious so you know, the color of your roux, just based on how you like it, how you like the flavor of that particular shade. In this case, we're gonna go for a, a pretty golden brown uh, uh, roux. So as you can see, all we're doing here is we're just sit, we're just constantly babysitting and constantly stirring and scraping the sides and the bottom because we don't want the flour to scorch. We want this to come together nicely and have a really good nutty flavor uh, once this flour browns uh, to the color that we want. And when we get there, we'll show you that and we'll add our vegetables. This is looking beautiful. Look at that golden color. Oh my goodness. Perfect. It's looking great. Just get it to the color that you prefer. We're just about there, I think, for what I would like. Okay. All right, this is perfect. This is right where we want. Now, we're adding all of those chopped vegetables, and you notice I salt and peppered them as well. I really do think seasoning the vegetables adds that extra dimension of flavor. So I've used uh, some green bell pepper, some red, some yellow, some orange bell pepper, a lot of garlic, and some onion. And we're gonna add also 
the whites of our green onions in here as well. Stir this around a little bit. Oh yeah, looking great. We're going to let our vegetables cook just a little bit so they get kind of translucent. Our green onions are in there now. The whites, the bottom part, we're going to add the tops with the parsley here in just a little bit. But you can see the vegetables need to cook just a little bit here. We want them to kind of get clear looking. And what we're going to do is transfer all of this to a bigger pot, um, a, a deeper pot that we can add our water and our crawfish, and that's what we'll be serving it out of will be a bigger pot. But we're going to cook this for a uh, probably about four or five more minutes or so till this gets good and tender. The vegetables all get good and tender. We've added the tops of our green onions and the fresh parsley in here. You can see the onions are looking really good. It won't take long for those tops and that parsley to cook. Uh, we're going to give this another three or four minutes or so because we want, want the vegetables to be good and tender. And then we're going to transfer everything into this big pot here. All right, and when we transfer it there, we're going to add our water and the rest of our, veg, our rest of our seasonings, rather. And then once all of that gets together and we get it to the consistency that we want, let it cook just a little bit, then right at the end, we're gonna squeeze some fresh lemon juice in there, stir that around, and throw in the crawfish. All right, we have transferred the roux into our big pot. I'm squeezing some lemon juice on here. All right, we're gonna add some water. Now we wanna be careful here and just add a little at a time to get the consistency that we're looking for. Look how beautiful this is. Oh my goodness. It's colorful. Uh, it's just, it smells wonderful. We're gonna add a little water now. It's gonna start loosening it up a little bit. Oh, this is gonna be great. And this is about five to six cups of water, but you know, just, just play with it a little bit. That was three sticks of butter and a cup of white flour, plain flour. And then lots of onions and bell pepper, green onions, garlic, parsley, uh, all those good things we've, we've been talking about. But you're gonna keep playing with this water until you get it to the right consistency that you want. And remember, etouffee does have a little bit of thickness to it. That's okay. All right, this roux is just delicious. I've sampled it to make sure I had the right seasonings in there. I had to add a little more salt and pepper, but it's perfect now. Good heat, but not too much. We're gonna add all of this beautiful crawfish. And I made sure to get a little of that crawfish juice as well as some of the fat that was still in there. And now all this has to do is just dance around together. Once it's heated through, I'm gonna turn the pot off and just let it sit. Oh, how gorgeous. Look how beautiful. Isn't that just gorgeous? It's ready. Our guests have arrived and we are about to dig in. Look how beautiful that is. Look at the color in there. It smells great. It's going to be delicious. All right, so what we've got is the crawfish etouffee. The potato salad that we made with the leftover potatoes from what we bought yesterday, some French bread, and some great friends to share it with. So it's time to dig in. Let's go. 